All right, guys, we're going to check this um, temperature gauge again. We're currently sitting on about 112 degrees, roughly where halfway is. Um, the red light, when it comes on, should come on at 120. So we'll just go out, check the engine, see how she's running. All looking good. Still running like a tro Trojan. That's pretty damn hot. That radiator's got to be 110. We'll go inside and just uh, wait for the instrument cluster to come on. Definitely got water in there. It's only clear water that I've got. There's no colour in it. All right, we're back again. We're getting pretty close to about 116 there, roughly. 116 degrees. Um, the temperature light usually appears about there. We should get um, a warning light. I don't know if it's going to chime. Normally in the Commodores you get a chime overheat. Not sure if the Falcons do it. We'll just wait and see what happens when it gets to the red. I um, put the pressure tester on this a few days ago. I pumped it up to 100 and... No, not 100. Uh, 20. 22 PSI. To see if it would um, take this uh, little test. So we're getting pretty close to 120 there, or about 118 degrees. All right, we're nudging the 120 mark. We're coming up pretty close to it. We should get a uh, an indication that we've hit 120 on the dash, and then we'll shut it down, let it cool down. There we go. We've got a chime as well, 120 degrees. All right, time to shut the old girl down. All right, so here we go, 120 degrees. Nothing's exploded. Um, head won't warp at 120. It really takes some serious temperature to get a warped head. You'd normally got to take them up to about 140 or so, 160. And uh, that'll destroy them, but um, here, 120 degrees. Doesn't seem to be a problem. Tough old AU Falcon. Take some serious punishment. Try that in one of your jap boxes. You know, your Supras and your bloody Skylines and whatever else. I don't know. I think the AU would have to be the toughest bloody car out there. All right, guys. There you go. One strong mother ever.